Hello and welcome to SLP with the during this summer session here. I'm your host, Mr. Brislin. Most of you obviously, well, I'm pretty sure everybody knows who I am. But most of you I got to work with um, throughout the school year. So, as you've seen, your team is the Reds. Okay. I know, I thought about making the team Yankees, but eh, thought I might have some students upset with that. So, you guys are the Reds team. All right, there's a fifth grade team called the Bengals as well. But you all are the Reds. So, most of you are familiar with how I run these sessions, okay? And hopefully you notice that um, there's also Zoom sessions happening at Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays at 10 a.m., okay? Where I'm solving the same exact problems. And by participating in the Zoom session, I'm able to assist you right there and then, so you're less likely to make and continue to make mistakes. Okay, because then I can assist you in helping you understand that mistake and then move on to the next problem so you don't make it again. But if you can't make the 10 a.m. sessions, I get it. I understand. And this is what I consider like second best. Okay, participating in these YouTube sessions. So with that being said, when you're participating either in Zoom or YouTube, there'll be a model problem. I'll go over how to solve the model problem. Then we'll move on to number two, where you will, you and I will both hit the pause button, okay? We'll, you'll solve this problem on your own. Then you'll unpause it, the YouTube video. Um, we'll go over this and then move on to the next one, which will follow the same exact steps. And then we'll move after that, you'll move on to number four, okay? And finally, as you saw in the packet, there's a number five, which is your exit ticket question, okay? So that one is, you're still solving it in the packet here, okay? But you'll put your, your solution to the answer, the answer to the question in the Google Form exit ticket for today, okay? Week, today is week one, day one, exit ticket. And that can be found back on the Google Classroom. And you'll submit your answer, and you'll be able to, once you submit your answer, you'll see your results. You'll click on the results button to see how you did. And you'll know whether you got it right or wrong. Now, if you got it wrong, tomorrow, in the next YouTube video, or the Zoom session, the first thing I do is I go over that exit ticket question. And we can work together and figure out what your mistake was. All right, that that's where it's so crucial that you're keeping and showing your work right here so that tomorrow you can take a look at this and say, oh, yes, I see where I made my mistake now. OK, or not, then maybe you're in the Zoom session and I can work you through understanding what your mistake was on that exit ticket question. All right. So with that being said, let's get started with number one, the model problem. So we have the problem here of 3,000 times 3, okay? So first off, I know we're not all fluent with our multiplication facts, so it's going to be very crucial that we write down our multiplication facts. In this case, I'm doing 3 times 3, so I want to go up to my 3 times 3 times tables. So I'll start with 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6, 3 times 3 equals 9. Then I'll go back to the actual problem and I'll put 9 as the answer, right? No, because this is 3,000 three times. So the answer is definitely going to be a lot bigger than 9. What I'll do is I'll go through and I'll do 3 times 0, 0, 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 0, 0. Then I'll do 3 times 3, which we know makes 9. Therefore, my answer to the model question is 9,000, as you see in the packet. And this is how I got there. Now, let's move on to number 2. 4,000 times 4. In solving this problem, I want you to hit the pause button. Okay, 
solve it, and then unpause it, and we'll go over it. Hit the pause button in three, two, one. All right, so at this point, you've unpaused the video, and now we'll go over it. So 4,000 times 4, well, I'm doing 4 times 4 is the highest factors I need to come up with. So I'll start off with doing 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 4 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4, and then 4 times 2 is another 4, which makes 8. 4 times 3 equals 12. And then 4 times 4 is another 4, which makes 16. Therefore, I'm going to know that 16 is going to be a very key number as part of my solution, but not the solution. Okay, it might be a common mistake that some people make. Did they just put 16 as their answer here? But first, I have to do 4 times 0, 4 times 0, and 4 times 0. 1, 2, 3. Then I move into my hundredths place value. I'm sorry, my thousandths place value. You do 4 times 4, making that 16, or also known as 16,000. Pretty big number. All right, number three. 2,000 times 9. 2,000 times 9. So, Hit the pause button, and then we'll go over it momentarily. Hit that pause button in three, two, one. Okay, so here we are, nine times one and nine times two. I did that already, um, so I know I'm going up to nine times two. Nine times one equals nine. Nine times two equals 18. Nine times zero is zero. Nine times zero is zero. Nine times zero is zero. Nine times two is 18. Therefore, making my answer 18,000. All right, last one before the exit ticket is number four. All right, 3,000 times seven. Go ahead, hit that pause button in three, two, one. All right, here we are unpaused. So we have seven times one, seven times two, and seven times three. Because we know we're going up to seven times three as the highest factor. 7 times 1 equals 7, 7 times 2 equals 14, and 7 times 3 equals 21. So, 7 times 0 equals 0, 7 times 0 equals 0, 7 times 0 equals 0. Make sure you have the three place values. Then, 7 times 3 equals 21, making my answer is 21,000. 21,000. Okay. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you'll go ahead, continue solving the, for your last problem on here, the exit ticket problem, number five, okay? You'll go back into Google Classroom, go back to, click on the Google form for week one, day one. Um, make sure it's the reds. Well, obviously, it's the, you're near the reds because you're in the reds classroom, okay? Submit your answer. Check out your results. See how you did, and we'll go over it tomorrow. Thank you so much for your participation today, and I'll see you either here or in Zoom tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.